Hey everyone, Merrick's here bringing you another video. Uh, this one is going to be on the new Hall of Fame Honky Tonk Man. Uh, he's going to be the trial card, so you all are going to get a chance to try him out at his max level. Um, so, going to take a look at Honky Tonk Man here and show you some builds that you can try uh, if you want. So he has the one link, the Hall of Fame link, any color moves start with four more move points, and the one gear, the Bronze Hall of Fame gear. He is a coach. Blue moves deal 25% more damage. Uh, very good coach for anyone with blue moves. Uh, Big E, Masters of the Universe, comes to mind right off the top. I'm sure there are plenty of others, but very solid coach for anyone with blue moves. Um, let's get in here. We're going to go on the road against Drew. Um, he is strapped. We're not. I do have tour perks, plus two MP, and uh, an extra one on a match. So I'm going to show you guys a three-star moveset, four-star, five-star moveset, and then two additional movesets in tag team matches to show off the Hall of Fame link and just how hard he can hit with that Hall of Fame link. I think you'll be surprised. Um, and I think that'll be useful since uh, a lot of those road tag matches that are hard, you guys can take advantage of with this trial card and get them done. So um, first move set, we're going to use the Eye Rake, uh, 6 MP green, 44k damage, destroy 5 random black gems, Diving Fist Drop, 6 MP black, uh, choose 4 gems to make into green gems, and the Atomic Drop, deal 23k damage and make all green gems into multiply gems of strength 2, 1 MP black. Entourage, we're going to use Bray so we can get started with the Choose turn 1 for 4 more MP. Matt Hardy, Multiply Gems, Increased by Strength of 2. Um, Lacey, Evans, Showboat, Purple and Green Gems do 20% more damage. And um, Tech, John Cena, Green Gems do 15% more damage. Buffing the Greens as high as we can to take advantage of those Multis. Um, so, let's get in here and take a look against Drew on the road. The idea with the eye rake is uh, it helps recycle um, the blacks. You can also use the finisher and kind of keep recycling the finisher, but you can run out of greens. Um, and I'm using the eye rake so I can show you guys uh, at least every um, every move set or every move in the preview. And this is a pretty awful board, not gonna lie. So we only have three green gems, or four, but uh, they're spread out as well. Three. Can at least hit all of them on the plus side. 198k damage, not crazy, not terrible. Uh, he is strapped, so... Now we can destroy the blacks and do it again. Again, not a lot of greens on the board. Hopefully some will drop in here. No such luck. Um, this moveset is a little bit board dependent. Depends on those greens dropping in. This isn't bad, though. We finally got some greens to drop in. And hopefully we can finish it off here. Much better. The greens are close as well. Should let us get most of them and should finish the match. All right. 
So that's the three star set. You can use that one starting at three star, although everyone's gonna have a max for the trial, so. Second move set is available at four star. And you'll see a variation of this move set at five star as well. I'm gonna use the finisher on this one. We may not end up using it actually. Um, but it's there, and that way you guys, again, can see every, every one of the moves in the preview here, so. We're going to swap in both purples. Uh, this moveset, the purples in particular, are a lot of fun. I rather like them quite a bit. Finisher, honestly, I don't see a lot of situations where I'll use it. Um, I mean, at 4-star, I would use it, though. So we're just switching out Bray for Woods for that purple MP. Um, and the finisher is a 10 MP green move, deal 71k, and choose 6 multiply gems to destroy. Uh, elbow drop, 7 MP, deal 45k damage and choose a 2x6 area to destroy. And the scoop slam, deal 51k damage and choose 3 rows to make into multiply gems of strength 2. Uh, so with the tour perks, uh, I'm going to be able to start turn one with the purples. And uh, it recycles really well. Again, um, Lacey being a really clutch coach, um, especially for this moveset, buffing both green and purples. So the goal is to, to keep recycling the purples. So we want to get at least two of them um, in the area we destroy, which we have here. Um, or we could do here. But I think I'll do these ones for this turn. And this just ramps up and gets stronger as you go because you're getting more multiplied gems on the board. So that would have been, you know, probably 280k against an unstrapped opponent. Again, trying to get the two purples every time. So we can get them here. And let's get some extra oomph on the greens. And I think this move is going to continue to be better than the finisher. Um, so the finisher is there in case for some reason we couldn't recycle. And this is what moves you would have at 4-star, so it, it makes sense at 4-star. Not crazy damage output, but solid and recycles easy. We're going to finish him, but just continuing to place the multiply gems uh, to recycle. And I don't think he'll kick out of that. Okay, there you go. That's the four star set. Uh, the five star is going to be a variation of this. This is my favorite move set for uh, solo honky tonk man when it's just him. Um, all we're going to do is swap in the 5-star move, which is a very nice move. It's a 1 MP move that increases the strength of your multiply gems by 1. Uh, so you can hit that every turn. So it makes this moveset a little bit stronger, and it scales a lot better. Um, should get a lot of... Uh, well, a f some turn 1 wins, uh, depending, but a lot of turn 2 wins. Okay, so swap in the arm dragon, deal 23k damage, and increase the strength of your multiply gems by one. A Honky Tonk Man is going to be a prime candidate for Fury Gems, since he's uh, multiply, and um, the stronger those green gems are, the crazy the multis are going to get, so I would double Fury him. So 
So same same idea or concept of last time. In that you want to get the purples for recycle. Um, and then greens when you can because they're his best damage. I should have done that differently. I should have placed uh, it on this row. I would have gotten an extra green. Um, but it's okay. Purples hit pretty hard too. Drew gets the cast uh, the five match. All right. The only downside is that um, when you overwrite the multiply gems, they go back to four. So that's kind of a bummer. Other than that, though, um, I really like this move set. It's really straightforward, pretty easy to play, and can hit really hard. So we got a decent shot, probably. At finishing him here. We'll see though. Get that. Uh... Yeah. Let's do it this way. Get more greens. Nope. He's going to kick right out. Buff those gems again. And this should do it. I'll just go for damage here. There we go. So, another easy win. Uh, I like that moveset a lot. It recycles a lot. Um, if we weren't going against a strapped opponent, it would definitely hit a lot harder. But let's uh, check out the tag matches now. Um, and this is really impressive for how hard he can hit in the tag matches. So we're going to be able to run with no MP trainers. Uh, so we're, uh, we're going to go right here. And take on Angle and Rousey. So everyone's got a free Hall of Fame Nikki for logging in last month, so you can get these done there. So get your uh, get your tag matches done this uh, this weekend, guys, with Honky Tonk Man, or this week rather. We're gonna run no MP trainers. We're gonna swap Razar in. And this move set is a five star set. Um, it does not recycle super well. So you could do this in solo, but it would be boom or bust. Um, need a black match to get going, and then you can potentially win really well on turn two. Um, all the moves we've already seen. So Let's get back in here. The nice thing about this one is we're choosing so many greens um, that the damage adds up, adds up super fast. And if we get a nice starting board with greens, it, it can be pretty big right out of the gate. That's quite a few greens. This should be very good. We're going to buff them all the times five. And uh, those are 37k right here. Uh, with Fury Gems, they'd get a lot bigger. Our opponent is strapped as well. So we're going to try and connect every one of them if possible. Like so. So we're going to get all of them. So it should be big. Nice Cascade. And yeah, 600k against a fully strapped opponent, turn one. Not too shabby. 
very impressive uh, how this Hall of Fame links work with works with Honky Tonk Man. Okay, and the last one for this is a tricolor build. Um, SO7 actually uh, DM'd me and said he wanted me to try this move set. Um, I didn't love it um, solo. But in uh, the tag matches, uh, this is really, really good. So shout out to him. Very good call out um, in a tag match. This one is actually the one I've been able to hit the hardest with in practicing Honky Tonk Man. So um, you can get some massive hits on this one. Oops, not that purple move. We're going to do tricolor. And we're going to bring back the scoop slam. That's the choose in the three rows. We're going to keep the driving um, fist drop in the arm drag. So again, um, same trainers as last time around. We're just going to get in there since you guys have seen all the moves. And uh, get it done against Angle. This should probably be a turn one win unless he gets a really, really big cascade. Uh, this move set hits very, very hard. So, going to try and separate so we can get three row breaks and break every, um, break every multiply gem. Ideally, uh, in case we don't, if you don't keep them down, you can try to recycle with the row break and hit a purple um, and a black. That gives us this row, we catch a black. That gives us this row, we catch a purple. And that'll give us this row and another perp. Nope, this will, though, right here. And that'll break all three rows and should hit super hard. Yeah, look at that, 661k. And recycled the moose. So uh, this is my favorite tag team setup for sure. So shout out to SO7 for the tricolor here. So that's Honky Tonk Man, guys. Um, pretty solid technician solo. Uh, recycles well, uh, can do a lot of damage, gets started pretty fast. Uh, with the Hall of Fame link uh, and tag team, can hit some ridiculously high damage. So I hope you guys enjoyed this preview. Uh, enjoy playing Honky Tonk Man this week. Get your tours done. Get the Hall of Fame requirements on the tours done. Get yourself some resources. Um, and have a good time. Let me know what you think in the comments, like always. Uh, I'd love to hear what builds you guys uh, thought were good and uh, what you think about Honky Tonk Man overall. So thanks for watching, guys. And uh, as always, I don't get to keep this guy on my roster. He'll get removed, and I'll have to earn him just like you. So thanks for watching, guys, and good luck out there.